He said that he is my damn man's man. But he switched on me like a transformer. Yeah, he changed. Nigga, you gon' get your ass changed. Don't get your ass with hey. Had to run my. So y'all see the title today. I hopped on NBA 2K21 current gen. And I want to show you guys. This is just a random paint beast build. You guys may think this paint beast build is not good, good or not. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is a good paint beast build. But it's a seven footer. I think he's like seven foot two, I believe. I want to show y'all how if you have IQ, you don't got to worry about anything in 2K. It's everything. And people don't understand that. Now with a big man, look how I just easily get positioned. Easy. When you're seven foot. You have to understand getting position is so important or you just doing certain stuff like that even if he doesn't pass the ball because it just gets the defense to start crashing you get what i mean they start coming down because they think you need help look how i'm boxing out rebound i'm getting the ball out of my hands it's right to my teammates you got a lot of big men that want to dribble the ball for what your job is to just get that rebound fast go on transition pass the ball up easy Look how I'm moving around the court, still shading for my team, still moving around like a big man. Look, pass the ball up the court, fellas. Like, come on. I don't know how it's hard for people, but I understand it now. If you've never grown up playing basketball, learning the game real life, I played on an organized team, AAU basketball, on an organized team, regulation game. Had to play with a shot clock, watch the shot clock, all that. Understand it's different when you're playing in that type of time. Like, it's different if you just know what I mean, right? You start to learn these positions and roles. You start to understand the limits you're not supposed to cross. Certain big men don't have that in them, you know, and that's a certain stability. And that's a certain way you have to ground yourself so you understand these things and you and you stick to them. Look how impressive, fellas. He's so slow, but I'm still moving, doing it up the court, still shading, still trying to put some pressure up. My teammates is contesting. Look how I'm right there for the board. Fellas. Alley oop. Oh, I tried it. This is the big man Bill can't do it. He can't do it, fellas. We know that. In current gen, this is the easiest build to use. And the reason why I say that is because you're so stronger. You gotta understand this is a video game. When you're seven foot, they automatically giving you the rebound when you have rebound chaser and you see what the stats was for the rebounding, right? You just have to be in the certain positions. It's just like shooting a green. There's green windows for rebounds. It's all about getting position. And how do you get position? You got to move your player around. Look how I'm still pressing, fellas, getting up the court. It's certain spots you got to cut off as a big man. You're bigger. So if you cut off a certain side, people won't want to go to your side. So if you hedge certain ways, if you bait a player certain ways, look how I'm boarding up. Oh, too big. Seven footers are just, if you want to start off and you're new to 2K, trust me, just hop on a seven footer and try to learn the game. Watch how guards play. Learn how guards do crossovers, how they like to move, and then you that's how you learn the game at a slow pace. Look at the defense I'm playing. I'm still here with my team. What are they doing? That's how you look how I'm playing big man, fellas. Real solid big man. Just my team could do whatever they want. I got the board, don't worry. Look at this. Go up. They too small. A seven footer is crazy in this game. You just want to have fun, level up, rep up easy. Big men are the wave in current gen, especially a seven footer. Even if you have players that's like, you know how people have those six foot power forwards, like some people have them six foot eight power forward centers and stuff like that still in this game because they made them in the beginning of the game. I remember that. I've been playing against comp here and look at this outlet pass. Like I like the big man build. Look at my grade. It's so easy to get a good grade, fellas. Right now, I'm trying to tell y'all, if you really want to go to work, if y'all really want more tip videos on how to play big man, I got y'all. Look at this. I'm playing perimeter D. I ain't worried about that because we already blowing him out. Gets his first little shot. I ain't worried about it. Look how I give the ball up, fellas. It's all about that. As a big man, you got to give that ball up. Get the rebound. Give it up. Look at, look at, I be having fun doing this. I be taking over the game. You can still take over the game without scoring. Understand this. Look, and they still giving me the ball. Ha! <sighs> look at those stats, fellas. You can still have fun on a big man. And I'm trying to show y'all I can play on any build. So when I make a build, it's really just me trying to be creative off of what I really want to do. Bring out something different. But I could play on any build. You name it, any build, whatever height, whatever size. I feel like I, I could even play on a 6'3 guard. I would just play in a certain style. Of course, you won't want to drive OD 
are crazy unless you have Giant Slayer on. You know certain things. Look at the box out. You see the reps, right? I'm playing against a... They look like they could be kind of good. I don't know who's good in current gen. I know they be zen up. I want to play against some Zen players and see how my defense can go crazy against Zen. Because I'm good at contesting. So, I'm really going... I got more content coming for y'all on current gen. Even with my old build, I got it coming. Don't worry. Uh, nice shot. Nice shot. It's all cool. Watch how I play as a big man. Always giving the ball up. I'm not trying to do too much with the ball. Not trying to dribble. Not trying to score. I'm looking to get those rebounds. I'm looking to play off of my teammates. You see, I'm still just right under him riding in case he misses that. That's how you got to play as a big man. You can't just be thinking you want the ball. You're there for the dirty work. Look at the dive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seven footers. I'm telling you, they just move different on this game, especially with defense. Like, I just, psh, the defense crazy. Look how the team's playing, fellas. The defense is not done. All IQ, fellas. IQ is everything. Look at the tip. I seen he was about to get that pass off. Press square really fast because I react very, very fast. Like basketball, I just look at the animation. So I just react very fast on things. I could tell when a player is about to pass just depending on how he's moving. Sometimes I make certain plays. That's why you see sometimes I get a reach right there. I get a foul call. Not every time I get it. But a lot of times my judgment be correct. Look at the defense, fellas. This bill is not even maxed. Ha! Ah. Ha! Is all IQ. That's it. If you know the game of basketball, you can play on any build. You have to understand if you're a big man, there's a certain way you got to move on the court. Look how I'm still playing defense in the paint. No pogo stick. All just proper contest. Dom, look at this, fellas. This is how you really play as a big man. Look at the score. I'm not doing nothing extra trying to sell the bag for my team. I'm still coming up for my teammates. I'm still trying to work on defense. Still trying to contest everything. Look how I'm just moving around in the paint, bored. You see, I don't stay in the paint too long. If they're too much out and the screens are starting to come up, I'm gonna come up with my team. Position is everything when you're a big man. Saving your turbo is everything. Look how I'm not just spamming my turbo, I'm running down the court. If they're not in a hurry, shit, I'm not in a hurry. Why am I gonna be in a hurry if they're not in a rush? Save my turbo, that's all strategy. That's how you strategize in a video game. It's no rush. It's no point for me if they're not speeding, set screens, and trying to do extra stuff. Rush down the court and shoot a green real quick. Shoot a fade. See what I mean, fellas? Come up, come up. Watch this, watch this, watch this. <clears throat> no slithery. No, look, fellas, just really IQ. If you know how to do certain moves, if you understand how players move, and understand, always understand and remember, have the awareness to realize these are other humans playing the game with you look at the contest look at the defense these are other humans they're making decisions in their mind just like you're making decisions look at this and one seven footers are crazy if this doesn't show you how easy it is i don't have no badge this is not my build i didn't make this build i'm using certain badges that i remember that was good in this game and i'm playing all with iq and this is how you could get easy games easy wins Big men are overpowered because you just have that size there. You can grab a board easy. So when people mess up, that's it. You grab the board. It's time to make a play off that transition. Look at my intimidator keep going off all the time because I'm making my presence in the paint. Ha! Oh my lord! I'll try and go crazy. See, once he has like 22 finishing badges, once you have all your finishing badges, this build will be nasty. Like seven, all you got to do is just play, keep it simple with a seven footer and it's hard. That's, that's what makes it so hard. When you try to do too much with a person, then it's like, ah, but once you make those cuts clean, get in the paint, box out real quick, do all that stuff. It makes it tough for people because you're so tall. Look, I, I'm so tall. I'm pretty sure this guy's badged out, maxed out, but I'm so tall. My presence is so big in that paint. Making it tough for him, fellas. Look at my grade too, A plus. You're always going to rep up. If you play like this, you're always going to rep up. Even if you lose, like... Big man, you still can have a very good grade. Look at this box out. Give me that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at this. Let him jump. I've noticed when I was playing against seven footers, that's why I was like, you know what? Let me make some gameplay on this build because I played against some on my normal build, my uh, three level score. And I was like, damn, yo, these seven footers get every crazy close shot. And he has a high close shot on this game. And remember, close shot is not. Like next gen, close shot in this game, your layups, those little hooks, those layups, all those go in. All that close shots to the rim go in. So his close shots, like a 91, I believe, they get all those little turnaround layups. It's so annoying. 
So, I hope this gameplay, guys, can show you that these builds are the way. Bring y'all some current gen. I'm about to wrap this up. I have my new build coming next. The sharpshooter. Everybody's been sleeping on it. I got some crazy gameplay. Y'all gonna be ready for this. Y'all gonna be hyped. Y'all want this type of gameplay from him. Make sure you're staying in positive vibes. Your energy is important. Your energy keeps you on a certain path. If your energy falls off, then you go into a new path. Because you'll be thinking differently. Ooh, look at that rebound. Dom, go ahead. Get another one, brother. Get another one, brother. Put your energy. Look at this. Why wow, they jump and hop step? Hit the like button. Subscribe. Positive. Uh.